This entire chain of events has been masterminded by Kerrigan. And we play right into our hands. Yes, we did, Artemis. Yet our course is set, nonetheless. Using the temple's energies against the Renegade Zerg may accomplish Kerrigan's aims, but it is still our only chance of survival. And survive we will, my warriors. For too long have we labored in futile defense as our enemies push us further and further away from victory. The time has come to let loose the full fury of our powers. Never again shall Shakuris be despoiled by the foul touch of alien species. These Zerg shall be the first to fall before us. Matriarch, I have served you for many millennia. I have always valued I am still the same Marshagong you have always known. These recent events have weighed heavily upon me, and I am wearied. But fear not. My warrior spirit will shine before you and light your path to victory. Indeed. The time for action is upon us. The crystals must be taken to the temple while the Zerg still muster their forces. I shall carry the Urash myself. While Zeratul handles the callus. Executor, you shall provide escort for Artanis and Zeratul as they make their way to the temple. God's willing, we will channel the energies of the Zelnaga and scour this world clean of the Zerg. Go now, my children, and know that the survival of our entire race depends upon your actions. There you got it, folks. Artanis and Zeratul must go to the temple. We need to protect the temple. When you bring the crystals to the temple, the Zerg will surely send all their legions to destroy you. You must be prepared to protect the temple itself from the swarm. And uh, obviously Artanis and Zeratul kind of need to live. This one's kind of tough. We have two small bases, as you see. And we got some... We got hit by a queen or a defiler that time what that was so yeah um <clears throat> kind of tough viewers kind of tough <clears throat> excuse me now No, uh, no special conditions here. We don't have to, you know, use any specific unit, Dark Templar, or anything weird like that. We just need to get Artanis and Zeratul right there. And we don't have too much to defend around the base of the temple, but there is some stuff that needs uh, defended. Now, it's been a good couple of weeks since I recorded this episode. I've actually, at the time you're watching this episode, well, not even then, the time I'm recording the audio commentary for this episode, I have finished recording all of the video. So it has been a while, viewers. And if I remember correctly, um, there's a pretty big gap where not much happens. <clears throat> So I'm probably going to be trimming some of this video out. Let's see, we've got three different groups of Zerg. We have a red group, a yellow, and a brown. Yep. I think we, uh, yep, damned queen. Turning us into broodlings. That's what she's doing. Does not please me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. This, uh... This is actually... A pr 
pretty important bit of story going on here, viewers. Sick em. Oh, and they send an overlord over. Just to pick on Zeratul. We need some carriers, viewers, and we're just gonna operation qual this. And apparently I build a second cybernetics core when I probably didn't need one. I don't know. We're just gonna max out just about all the tech that I want. These carriers finish up here. Need some dark templar, cause they're handy. Some more dragoons. Get over there and get to work. Smart carriers. You know, I've realized, actually, just now, that I haven't used a lot of High Templar. Normally, I would use Archons fairly consistently. I haven't been doing it. Don't know why. Two more carriers. my carriers? No, not yet. Still waiting for two more. Okay. One short. Oh, what's wrong with that Archon? He's just wandering around. Go. Go. Give me some scouts. Arbiter Tribunal. Because I want Arbiters, damn it. We're not doing too well up here, viewers. I'll turn Operation Qual off. Because they're just making units quicker than we can... Sp they're spitting out units quicker than we can get rid of them. Which is a problem. <clears throat> a problem that I will have rectified come the next scenario, viewers. The amazing power of 12 carriers. Now, I don't need to be getting rid of all of this, viewers. I need observers. Just a tad bit of overkill, wouldn't you say? Scourges, that's gonna hurt. Ooh. Just a couple of them can just wreak havoc on a carrier, viewers. Go ahead and head on up there. I was sure he was gonna be dropping units off. that defiler. Yeah, he gets picked up, of course. God, damn queens. <clears throat> Hate them, viewers. Hate 
hate them so much. Yeah, I'm looking at the time of the video right now, and I know there's going to be a big chunk out of the middle that I cut out where I'm just going to be waiting. So, hopefully I'll remember to do that. Why do they have such frickin' long range? That's so annoying. This is not going to end well. Do I build observers? I cannot remember. If I don't, I'm an idiot. Yeah, there went all my carriers. Everything else is all decked out. Okay, that'll help a bit. Yeah, one Arbiter's cloaking that whole area of yours. That's just awesome. <coughs> the only thing that would break them more is if they could cloak themselves. I don't even care that there's no real lord there, viewers. Okay, got rid of that little group. That's making a little bit of progress. So awesome. Just the kind of damage we can do with just one Arbiter makes a huge bit of difference, viewers. Kill somebody. Who did I miss? Yeah. Can you even see him? Get back here. Queen to ruin my day. Well, guess what? That's right. I've had it up to here with you queens. Down there, please. Go get him. Scouts are so awesome in the expansion, viewers. Get you up there. I'm 
You know what would be a really good idea, viewers? Like, two arbiters and ten carriers. Why don't I do that? Because I'm dumb. Get down there. If there are detectors around, obviously it's not going to do me much good, but still, that just would be an awesome. Well, two arbiters, so you got, you know, just like this little dual field, so if one of them gets blown up, you still got a little cover for your other, other group. We're not going to do super great here, because all these uh, lurkers and all the overlords floating around, ruining my day. Trick is to kill the lurkers before they can burrow, viewers. If you can do that, you're alright. But doing that can be kind of a pain. Yeah, we're getting shot. I don't care. Yeah, see that, viewers? Just how a couple arbiters can make just all the difference in the world. I really need to use them better. Okay, I'm go ahead and take them out. Go after him. Get you guys in a, in a easier place to find. Try and get some more units. Okay, it takes care of him. Let's get everybody kind of in the same neighborhood here. I don't need to get rid of these, I'm just doing it because I can. Another queen to ruin my day. I can see it on the map. That little brown dot's going to stop. And it's going to turn right back around. Spawned broodlings, viewers. That's what it did. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take care of that. Another weird thing I noticed is, while an Arbiter can't cloak itself, it also can't be cloaked by a second Arbiter. You'd think that would almost work, you know? Okay, how's things going over here, gentlemen? Take care of it. <sighs> Gonna happen again. Oh, no. Didn't broodling me that time. Okay. Ooh. Finally ran out of money. Ah. Hate that, viewers. Damn queens. 
Yeah, that's where I attacked last time. That's where all the flying units are chilling out over there. But I have a plan, viewers. I'm gonna get them to follow the Arbiter, and I'll send the Arbiter up that way. Send you guys over that way as well. Now I could simply bring Artanis and Zeratul over here right now. And they would take care of their thing. What are you doing? Coming all the way over here to kill me. He just decided to come over and attack me. Um, the problem is, every Zerg on the map would then come to try and kill me. Turn that off. And I don't want that, viewers. No one wants that. Let's be honest. See what I did there? I distracted him. I'm going to lose a couple carriers. I don't know where my Arbiter is gone. And we're not going to do super well here, but we'll make a hole. Good for now. I think we can just leave our carriers kind of camped out right here and we'll be alright. This damn scourge is coming at me again though. Let's take care of them. Get rid of all these flying units coming after me. Well, we'll get rid of all of them because this is their smaller base. What are you doing? Just chilling out down here. About to lose another carrier, viewers. Oh lord, what the hell happened to that guy? Just kind of came out of nowhere. Sort of. Look at all those hydralisks. That's just nuts. Yeah, we've uh, we've lost this one. Hydralisks are still death, viewers. shuttles and we will send in some ground units is what we'll do. How are we doing on time? Alright. I may drink of my water. The text I need to check. Sorry about that. Kind of an important text. God damn you, queens. They're annoying more than anything else. <clears throat> yeah, upon looking back, it really would have been... Um, wiser of me to uh, 
just send Zeratul and Artanis in right now and play defense, then taking the fight to the Zerg. <coughs> but it's not what I did. <laughs> Okay. There I go. Finally, I build an observatory. Yeah, just look at that. And what sucks is, it's so much easier for the computer to single target you than it is for you to single target one of them. It's just nuts, viewers. Get you guys out of there. You don't need to be there anymore. You head over there. And... You head up there. Acid spores. Devourers, viewers. <clears throat> As you should all remember, mutalisks have the ability to uh, morph into guardians. Which could only attack ground targets. Well, in the expansion, they also have the ability to mutate into devourers. Which are, again, a little stronger, but can only attack air targets. Get over there. Guys, come chill out up here. Okay, yeah, move on up this way. If you would, please, gentlemen. some of these other little encampments, I guess. Bases, whatever you want to call them. It's 14 parasites. Is that what that said? 14 parasites? Maybe it's 14 kills. Guess you don't get to come with us, buddy. Sorry. Right. I'm going to load everybody over there. Where are you going? Follow that guy. Oops, sorry. My bad. Go take care of him. <clears throat> Heard that hydralisk then. This is such crap. We dropped him off in a place where I can't reach him. Nothing like just utterly 
and totally destroying viewers when you feel like you need to. Where are you guys going? Oh. I understand. See, those uh, devourers can't attack my dragoons because they're air to air only. That's why they're trying to avoid them. Let's get all you guys together kind of in the middle here so I can see what's going on. I'll come pick you up and bring you somewhere else. <laughs> Guardian's just so slow. I don't even know where he's going. <clears throat> oh, Artanis. He's got a parasite. Artanis has a parasite. A queen got all the way down there. Infected Artanis. <laughs> like, I'm gonna get them shells. Oh crap, Dragoons. No, I'm not. <clears throat> That's what that guy was thinking. Tannis is just the man, viewers. He is the man. The Protoss man. With the Protoss plan. Oh. Oh, drop. Can't drop off if I have the observer selected. Those guys off over there. May as well send in our Tannis. You get in up there. Send you guys over there. A couple of you over that way. A couple of you down this way. He kills so good. Bring you guys over here. All you guys over here. Move on up, son. Yeah, there's that uh, observer. Get on up there, son. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Come down here. Carriers, move up. Yeah, we're actually not supposed to play the stage this way. But, uh, we're doing it anyway. What the hell is this guy doing? Building a new hatchery. Yeah, we're not gonna have any of that. No. None of that nonsense. Those scourges don't know what to do. Alright, get down there and help the carriers out. Not that they need help, mind you, and just speed things up a tad. We'll load up all of our shuttles here. And there we go. It's such a mess, viewers. Look at that. And still, there's still more hydralisks that need to deal with. Little Artanis holding his own. These guys still haven't unloaded everybody yet. And 
you're still not done unloading everybody. Why not? There we go. Get out of there. Okay, viewers. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fade this bit of the clip out. I will see you guys again shortly. All right, viewers. The Collis is secured. Don't know if you heard the news, but there it is. We're waiting for our tennis to fly on over here and take care of the Uraj. The Uraj is secured. Executor. Zeratul and I will begin to channel the temple's energies. You must prevent the Zerg from destroying the temple while we work. And Adun be with you, Artanis. Now we just have to keep the Zerg from destroying the temple for 15 minutes. But guess what? There's no Zerg. We don't have to worry about that, viewers. So, again, I'm going to cut for 15 minutes, roughly, and I will see you back here shortly. Alright, viewers. I can't wait anymore. We win! So much score that means nothing, and so much of it from cheating. Oh my goodness. How about that, viewers? <coughs> Excuse me. Artanis and Zeratul did it.
And that will end the Protoss campaign. See you next time. Carry on.